fire. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Outdoor Pursuer. Uh, I'm out right now um, trying to make sure that uh, the gun that I'm going to be using for hunting season this year, um, coming up pretty quick, uh, that that's actually sighted and accurate. Um, so I've already actually done that. Um, I can show you what I'll be using here um, this fall. It's gonna be this Mossberg. Um, it's a goodie, but an oldie, um, 20 gauge. Uh, I've used it in um, several past seasons, but uh, um, the last few seasons I've used a, a different muzzle loader. Um, well, this is a shotgun, but I've used a muzzle loader um, the last few years. So, um, but right now um, we're actually breaking out and using um, a different gun that I have uh, that I haven't shot before and uh, I'm testing it out for the first time it's going to be um, this one right here this uh, traditions uh, full action rifle and uh, this is kind of one of the first times that I've been uh, that I've actually shot it um, I fired off a couple rounds just to make sure uh, that everything worked and uh, that we're good to go um, but uh, I just wanted to share this with you guys and um, fire off a few more rounds so um, first first we're gonna go ahead and take uh, we're gonna take our 50 50 Pyrex uh, pellet and we're just gonna go ahead and load that straight down in the, the barrel And it looks like this, and we're going to just drop it right in there. Uh, next, we're going to take our 50 cal smackdown round. Um, we got the sleeve and then the round, and uh, we're just going to put those in, put the round inside the sleeve. And uh, we're also going to get that started here in the barrel. Take the field rod, and we're just going to shove this down into the barrel. It takes a little bit of force to get it started. There you go. We're going to ensure that that's all the way down, nice and tight. And then up next, we're going to take our primer. I'm going to grab one of these. We're going to take that and insert that right inside here. There we go. And just important to note that safety has been on this entire time while we're doing that. This is what this looks like to you, the Traditions Smackdown 50 cal round. Alright, up next, uh, we are just going to go ahead and take the bolt, lock that in place. And then this is ready to fire, almost. Once the safety is off, then it is ready, completely ready to fire. But but the as is, this is ready to shoot. You just have to um, line it up in the sights, which we'll do now.
little bit. And uh, we've got it lined up, so I'm going to go ahead and put uh, safety off. We are ready to fire. Taking the bolt out, safety is on. And uh, there you go, that is your Traditions uh, bolt action rifle. Uh, let's go check out uh, if we hit the target or not. I would recommend to, um, I didn't bring it with me, should have. Um, Ear and eye protection, definitely eye protection when firing this. Uh, been getting hit in the face just a little bit. Um, That is slightly embarrassing. I don't think we hit it. This first shot that I took uh, using the slide, actually we may have. This looks like this split a little bit more than what... I don't know if we hit this twice. We may have hit that one twice. Because that looks like that ripped more than uh, before. Anyways, this was the first one I hit um, using the sled on the shotgun. I'll be using it in this fall. This was the second shot um, using the sled. Third shot, I uh, used the sled again, I think, for that one. Um, this was my fourth shot uh, not using the sled and uh, just firing. Um, openly or free <laughs> without it um fifth shot was a little low um, but still pretty close to the vitals not using the sled um, all these shots were definitely kill um, this was the first shot that i took using that bolt action rifle um, the one that i just fired um, so that was six shot also a kill shot and uh, this was the seventh the one that i fired and said hit just a little high um, so then that eighth shot, like I said, I'm pretty sure here, this looks like this ripped more. Um, so I'm thinking that I hit there twice, but it doesn't feel like I hit either. I don't know. All right. Well, anyways, uh, thank you for watching. Um, if you enjoyed that and uh, you'd like to see more of that content, uh, just let me know and... I look forward to um, uh, this fall for hunting. Uh, I've heard that uh, there's been this. This is a property where I will be hunting at, where I'm also shooting. Um, but I've heard that there's a, a buck running around. Um, there's a couple older um, doe, and then there's a couple of fawns. I'm definitely going to try and leave the fawns um, and the doe if I can, uh, and primarily look at getting a buck this year. Try to every year, but um, 
it's hard sometimes. Um, but yeah, I'll only be able to um, hunt pretty much on the weekends uh, this year, so uh, which is better than last year. Last year I wasn't able to at all; didn't have uh, a whole lot of time to be able to do it. But um, it's reassuring and nice to know that uh, the the um, shotgun that I'll be using is sighted and uh, hopefully can make an accurate shot. This is probably pretty close to 75 yards. Um, so hopefully you can make an accurate shot out to 75 and um, hopefully that animal won't have to suffer too long. Um, can hopefully be an instant kill shot. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you watching. Again, if you wanna see more of this content, just let me know um, down in the comments. Uh, if you enjoy all of the content on this channel, make sure to subscribe and I'll uh, see you outdoors.